We've already talked about sexual attraction and romantic attraction, so if you want to check out those videos, you can do so. Uh, but today I wanted to talk about another type of attraction that is really, really important to asexual people, and this is platonic attraction. Platonic attraction is interesting because I think it's not talked about enough because it feels universal. It feels like one of those things that like everybody knows about, so we don't have to talk about it because we understand each other, right? But in actuality, I don't think as many people understand it as they think they do. Uh, platonic attraction is basically the attraction of wanting to be friends with somebody. You know, platonic love is all about friendship. It's about forming this bond with somebody else, but not necessarily becoming like a partner or a significant other, getting married, having sex, any of those types of things. Now, obviously, I think it's important to point out that any and all of these definitions are very much subjective. And I think also that we as a society kind of assume there's one type of being when in actuality like friendship and romance kind of can blur together sometimes you know there are some friendships that involve sex some friendships involve romance some friendships are life partners um, and some of them aren't and so I think it's important to take a step back really quick before you actually get into things and think like not everything that I say is 100% accurate and also not everything I say applies to every single person this is kind of more of a generalized overview of what attraction is. Now, the actual definition of it is going to be different to you because you're not me. Um, but I will say, based on the Wikipedia page, uh, platonic attraction is the form of attraction and desire to form a connection and platonic bond with somebody. Platonic attraction goes beyond making friendships, and it is a desire to harbor a deeper bond with somebody. But it does not go into dating or becoming partners or becoming a significant other, necessarily. It could. That's a whole other thing to talk about. But the ultimate root of platonic attraction is wanting to form this deeper connection with somebody. And actually, if we want to take it a step further, let's just look at the idea of platonic love, because I think a lot of people don't actually know the definition of platonic love. Um, it comes originally from Plato, the Greek philosopher. Genuine platonic love can be defined as inspiring a person's mind and soul and directing their attention towards spiritual matters. Now, I think it's very easy for us, especially in the United States and Western culture, to kind of see the word spiritual and automatically think like, oh my gosh, religion, God, those kinds of spirit things um, even sometimes stuff like crystals or witches or anything like that your spirit you know like what is that it's kind of abstract it could be a lot of different things uh, but I think ultimately for this definition for me I kind of see it as like your spirit is your soul your being who you are as a person and so platonic love is seeing somebody and being inspired by them they are inspiring your soul to be something different whether that's like being inspired to create art or to dress a different way or to become more like the person you want to be. I think that's what I think about when I hear platonic love, when I hear friendship, you know? Um, if I'm platonically attracted to somebody, I kind of look at them and I'm like, I see you and I think you're so cool and you are going to inspire me to, you know, be better and to try new things and to talk about the universe and all those sorts of situations. But at the end of the day, like that's as far as it goes, you know? I don't necessarily want to go home with you at the end of the night. I don't want to like, kiss you and touch you and do like sexual stuff. Um, I think it's more difficult to differentiate between romantic attraction and platonic attraction than it is to differentiate between sexual attraction and platonic attraction, um, especially because like sex is physical and so it's very easy to be like, oh, obviously I don't want to kiss my best friend. Like that's weird. I, we don't have that kind of connection. However, like a romantic connection, what is the difference between romance and platonic relationships? I think that's a whole nother discussion to have, uh, but it starts with understanding platonic attraction. And platonic attraction is that inspiration feeling. It's that feeling of wanting a deeper connection, to talk to somebody, uh, to understand them, to maybe support them in different ways, but also understanding that like, you are your own separate people. Um, you're not trying to become one person for the most part. It's it's gonna be a separate thing. You're both on your, your own tracks, you're parallel instead of perpendicular, you know? That's, that's the best I can do for the definition of platonic attraction. I don't know really, but that's the best I can do. <laughs>